So here's a to-do list in Google Sheets. And when I check this off, oh, changes color. And adds to the total here of how many things I've got done. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that even if you've never used Google Sheets before. So first step, if you haven't opened a Google Sheet before, you need a Google account and you go sheet.new. That's the easiest way. And that will open a brand new sheet. We'll give it a title here. Just up here, to-do list. And we can change this worksheet as well to do the same. Okay, we're going to put some headings in, the action, and is it done? Yes or no? We'll make those centered. And we'll put make them bold. Change the change the background to blue and the text color to white. So now we put in our list of things to do. Oh, the dog, call Rachel, buy some milk. And we're going to put in a total here. And once again, we'll make that the same format. So I click on here to copy the format from there and then down to there. So I hit that paint, paintbrush and said, I want that format to be the same as this format. In other words, same background, bold, and so on. But now, we want to get those boxes in first of all, so, so to do that we select those rows. So I click on the first row, go down to here and hold the shift key down and click again. And then data, data validation, and we're going to make that one a checkbox. So we just go checkbox. Now the interesting thing is when you do a checkbox, when you tick it, we don't have the colors yet, but when you tick it, look at what happens to the value. It goes from false, when it's unchecked, to true. Okay? That's going to be important for us because now we want to do the formatting. Let's just put in the total here. And remember, when we click on this, that is set to true. So we just want to count up how many of those are true. So I'm going to do equals, put in a formula here. Count if, open that, I'm going to say if B2 to B4, B2 to B4, comma, equals true, true. Then we're going to do a count. So let's just try that count first. One, two, yeah, that's good. Three, and then if we take one off, Yep, it's got a count of all of the uh, all of the trues, which is great. Okay, but now what about the conditional formatting, the thing you've been waiting for? So we want to change the text of this to be green, and we want to change the color of the box to be green, but we'll keep the background as white. And the other thing is we want to do that cross off. As soon as you click that box, cross it off. So change the color and do that strike through text. So to do that, we go into one of the cells, we want to do conditional formatting. So we go format, conditional formatting. And what's the condition? Well, so it says apply it to range A2. Now we want to apply it to range A2 to B4, colon B4. And what's the condition? Well, we actually want to check if, we want to check something special. Custom here, custom formula. And so this works Format cells if, so just as we did the formula here, the count if formula, we want to do format if B is set to true, okay, if the box is checked, then change the whole thing to green text and to do that strike through thing. So we'll get rid of the background, we don't want the background to be green. We do want the text to be green and we want it to be strike through. But what's the formula? So the formula is going to be equals dollar B2. So the dollar means don't go switching from one column to the next, just keep, just only stick down the, the B column. But the two without the dollar sign means when we get to B3, I want, I want you to apply this uh, formula to B3 and then to B4. 
okay? And if B2 equals true, then we're good. So we've changed, the, changed it to strike through and changed the text to green. So click done. And you can see that that green uh, square around, it says, yeah, that's what we've highlighted for. That's where our conditional formatting rule is. So let's just give it a, give it a test. Beautiful. And see the one has changed. Excellent. I've called Rachel and then I've got to remember to buy some milk and we're done.